Hello students, in this video we will learn a very important concept of Fortran that is functions of programs. Here we will learn if our function is more than of one line then it is not a statement function then it may be written as a separate program which is known as function subprogram. So here we start with an example of factorial. We will try to write a function subprogram to find factorial of a number. Let us start. So we start with variable declaration that is integer n print star comma enter any integer read star comma n so we will store that num value into n and let f is equal to fact of n so this is very important so means we have called function fact with value n and the answer will be stored into f so after this we will print this value pictorial is equal to f then read star stop and so this is the main program as you see we have not written the criteria to find factorial uh, on, the, on that place we have only called a function which will uh, find factorial for us now we will write the body of that function so first of all it's a function we declare it a function fact and uh, the value we are sending will be stored into m so again we will declare this m here integer n and m and uh, another uh, number we need now we initialize this fact is equal to 1 and now we write a loop do 10 i from 1 to m and what will we do here we will multiply fact with i and then 10 continue until it equals to m and then we will return the answer where it is called stop end so this is the program to how to write a function sub program let us first save this let us compile this so it compiled now let us execute the program so as you, you on your screen enter any integer let me enter 5 and the answer for factorial is 120 here uh, we are getting a real answer to uh, print integer answer here we are printing answer with f because f is a float by default so we will declare this explicitly as integer now the answer printed will be an integer let us compile this again let me execute this so let me enter 5 and you see answer is factorial is equal to 120 let me execute this for one more number let me enter 7 and the answer is 5040. So I hope you got an idea how can we write a function sub program. So here this is the name of this function. Name followed by parenthesis means we are calling this function. Here this n will be transferred to m and then the process of factorial will be uh, done here and answer will be returned where it is called that is here and the answer will be stored to this variable and we print the value of this variable and we get the final answer okay let us uh, make a little bit uh, more uh, modification to this program 
if we wish to find uh, the sum of series, if we wish to find the sum of series, we can extend this program for that. So for that, we will enter number of terms in the series, number of terms of series. Let it be n again. Let it be n again. We will enter the values and we have to find the sum of the series. So we initialize sum is equal to 1 and uh, then uh, we write a loop that is do 20 i from 1 to n. So what we have to do here? We have to find the sum of series. Sum is equal to sum plus let the sum of series is expansion of exponential e that is uh, 1 upon 2 factorial, 1 upon 3 factorial and so on. Let it be 1 upon fact of i. And here we write 20 continue and we will print sum of series is equal to sum. So this will print the sum of series here. Uh, you see we have, we are sending the value from here to this function. So how many times this function will be called? Number of terms in the series. Initially it is, uh, it will call fact 1, then fact 2, fact 3 and so on until the last value. Let us update this and uh, let me compile this and now we execute this. And here we enter the number of terms. Let me run for smaller number of terms, 3. And you see sum of series 2.66666, which is the approximate value of exponential e, because we are taking less values. If we take no more number of values, it will uh, the answer will be more accurate. Let me take 5. And you see we are getting 2.716. So I hope you got an idea. How can we find the sum of series using functions? We have just written uh, this function one time, but we are calling this function n times, every time with a new value. And it will be stored here.